Hey guys, I hope everyone's day is going well. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Exotic Throws Salamander. Let's see this thing in action. So real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to Michael Semeca. He actually is the owner of Exotic Throws, which is kind of like a new company. And he approached me at Nationals this year, just a couple weeks ago. And by the way, a full Nats recap vlog, you know, fun video is coming out soon. And said, hey, do you want to do a quick review on the Salamander, which is my first yo-yo? And of course, I said yes. And so today we're going to be taking a look at this $120 yo-yo. And at the very end, we'll also talk about how you can win this very throw. Alrighty, so as usual, I'm going to put the numbers and specs up on the screen right here. Alright, so normally I kind of try to stay away from doing unboxings in my reviews since I think it's sometimes a waste of time, but there's a couple things that make this unboxing unique. The packaging is pretty simple, just a white box with a logo and name, but upon opening up, there is this orange tissue paper which contains the yo-yo, as well as this green and black string, which I think looks really nice, and an exotic throws string cutter in pick. These things are actually pretty sweet because you can like get a bunch of knots out of your yo-yo without having to unscrew it and you know, mess with the vibe and stuff like that, and of course you can cut the string with it. It's pretty sweet. Now taking a quick look around the yo-yo, in regards to the specs, this yo-yo is pretty standard I'd say. The diameter is a little bit smaller than most and the width is a bit wider than the standard. In addition, this yo-yo is made of 7075 aluminum which, as you all know, is a very high grade of aluminum. The finish of this yo-yo is actually kind of interesting. It's like halfway between glossy and matte. I mean, it's pretty darn smooth, but it's also kind of shiny, and we'll talk more about that in the grind section of this video. The shape of the Salamander is really nice, in my opinion. It's a very, like, competition-oriented, flared out H shape with some ridges that are kind of rounded off so it's not exactly like sharp. In the hand it feels really really comfortable. Overall it's a really comfortable shape but also one that is definitely geared towards more competitive play. Now as for the feel, I'm actually really impressed with what Michael has put together here. The Salamander feels and plays like a premium yo-yo. On the string it's kind of hard to decide whether it plays more on like the heavy or light side. If I had to choose one I'd say it's a bit more on the heavy side but just by a hair. Overall just know that this yo-yo plays pretty standard in regards to like floaty or heavy. Like any premium yo-yo, you can expect some really nice stability and a ton of rim weight with this throw, along with some great spin times and power. It really honestly is a ton of rim weight with this yo-yo, I have to say, but it makes sense. The ridge of this yo-yo is like really, really thick, and there's a ton of metal concentrated there. I really had no problem with, you know, super fast tricks with this yo-yo. It played very stable and wasn't too difficult to crank up to fast speeds. And also because of like the wider shape, the Salamander is really nice for whips and slacks. You know, I had no trouble getting any of my slacks to go into the gap. Truly, the thing that impressed me me the most with this yo-yo is just like its power and its ability to handle extreme tricks. I mean at first glance it doesn't really look like the most extreme yo-yo, but it plays really really nice. Now taking a deeper dive into the feel of this yo-yo, personally I find a lot of similarities between this yo-yo and the Yo-Trix Cannon, which I reviewed a little while back. It makes sense, both the Cannon and the Salamander have kind of similar dimensions, shapes, and cups. I'd say the Salamander has a bit more of a fun and enjoyable feel to it over the Cannon. I found the Cannon to play very, very standard and a bit boring in my opinion, and the Salamander has really maintained my interest for weeks now. It plays really, really nice and also has a fun and interesting feel. I mean, both Yo-Yos play very stable and similarly, but I found the Salamander have a bit more momentum and it felt a little bit more zippy on the string than the Cannon. Now, taking a quick look 
look at grinds, finger and palm grinds really are pretty darn good. The finish is pretty smooth, not as smooth as like a matte finish, but it still is fine for those kinds of grinds. Thumb and talon grinds are actually like amazing with this throw. There's like this really like awesome and satisfying ridge that you can lock your thumb into, and overall it just feels really nice to do those. Finally, there is a bit of a nub in the middle of the cup of this yo-yo, and as a result, finger spins are pretty good, but like don't expect to lock in or anything, obviously since there's that thing in the middle, you just kind of rotate around the center for a while. Since the finish itself is pretty smooth, you can do that for quite a while. All right, so it is true, I am actually going to be giving away this yo-yo with the original box and all of its accessories. Okay, and so I have a couple simple steps for you to be able to win this. And also, I should note that this giveaway is open to anyone. Wherever you live in the world, it is just fine. You can enter this giveaway with just these simple steps. All right, so first, follow me on Instagram and also follow Exotic Throws on Instagram. I'll put their Instagram right here and I'll also link it down below in the description. In addition, like this video, subscribe to me, and comment down below. And that's it. If you do those five steps, you are entered to win this $120 yo-yo. And overall, the winner is going to be super lucky to win this since this is such an amazing yo-yo. I'm actually uploading this video on Wednesday, July 24th. And I will announce on my Instagram at yo-yo joe underscore one who actually won the yo-yo. In addition, I should note that this yo-yo has not been released yet. And it will be released on Saturday, July 27th at 2.30 Eastern Time. So good luck to everyone in the giveaway. Remember, just follow those five steps and you'll be able to win this throw. All right, thank you guys all so much for watching my review of the Exotic Throw Salamander. I was really impressed with this yo-yo, even though it's out of a you know, new company, it's their first yo-yo. It's a really, really nice yo-yo, and I can't wait to see what they do in the future. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. And also, if you guys are new here and haven't seen my videos before, hit that subscribe button because I post videos just about every single week. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.